Guys, we are back with another episode here on Kufia Chronicles. Today we have none other than Buta Abdullah with us from Primrose's Mail Voice Choir. And we're going to find out a bit more about the choir. Right? Buta Abdullah, how are you doing today? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You people to come. Shukran for welcome us. To, to be part of this uh, endeavor. One. Shukran for welcoming in, you, us into your home and for opening your home up to us for having this interview. Okay, Buddha Abdullah, straight into it. I see the Buddha is fully kitted for the roses. <laughs> yes, no. So, so, <laughs> so tell us about that badge. Where no, did uh, well, I won't start with this badge yet. Okay. I, I've been around for plus minus 50 years with a choir. Um, being on stage for about 50 years. And it's been a long road for me, an enjoyable one. And I came to join the choir in 1960, 1967, 1979. I came to join, join the choir. Let me just get the dates right. Uh, 69, 1969. That's the first time then the, the, the period of of, of, of fasting was still just ended that we could parade for the new year. New year. So in the 1970s, we started the parade. I've been enjoying it all the time. Um, yes. I, I joined the club in, in the land zone. Okay. Me and, and, and five, five other guys, mm. um, the two Wachis, Yusuf Wachi and his brother Ali, mm. For Art Adams okay. and Sana Atas and myself went to go and join the club in Boundary Road. And not knowing anything about singing and singing, choirs and not knowing anything more. about meeting procedure, nothing. We were green, but we were welcome in the choir. Amen. And then unfortunately they chucked me into the deep end because there was no person to drive the delegate to the board meeting. Okay. And I had to do it in the truck because I had a no, truck that was in the sand and stone mm. and things like that. I had to take the guy, Mr. Mustafa. Okay. Uh, I had to take him as a dad. I know nothing about anything. I didn't know even that the Cape Malay choir board was so massive, mm. really. But I saw things and I started to learn. And that's how I became part of Primrose also. I was there for a few months and and, and I, I enjoyed myself not knowing the circumstances of how its procedures will run. Mm. I thought it was just singing and finish or whatever. But then I realized that there's a lot of things that you have to do to be part At of all this. It, yes. And that time it was during the summer months and Practice started late after mm. Ishai, mm. which was past eight, eight or eight. Mm. People used to come late. We used to we used to practice till two o'clock at night. Yo. And fortunately for me, I had the truck, and I had to pick up the guys that from different areas and so forth. From from from, I started in Bridgetown, Vanguard Estate, Mannenberg. All oh. the way down. It was a whole trip, basically. Yes, yes. And it's an open truck and everybody was at the uh, back. back. And that's how we... But the, the main thing about it, they were happy. They were singing. You understand? Yeah. Going to the... Yes. And it made it so nice to be part of the... Of that. Yes. Mm. Yes. Lovely. So there's, there's quite a, a, a rich heritage with the club. Um, 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 if we think the Buddha said 1960... 1969. And you joined, joined at that time. And, yes. And you're still an active member I, of Primrose. I am, but not singing at the moment. For the last five years, okay. I stopped singing because of my knees. Okay. Going on the stage yes, and things yes, like yes. that. And getting older. Mm, mm. I, I, I said to myself, no, man, I've had enough. And the, the thing about what we have now in the club, I, I can't envisage it how quickly things turned around mm. because of the general e uh, phones and yes, things like that. Yes, it. yes, yes. Different way of, of, of practicing. Of things, yeah. Quite a different way toward what we used to have, mm. singing from the board, 
Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. That's how. I think when when all of us started singing, even on the youth council, yeah. we started with the boards, um, yeah. singing from the boards. Like last night, um, I was at the event and someone didn't know the words, and they said, "Board is now board." But coming back to that that history of that yeah. um, of Purim Roses, what can you tell me? Like, what will you always remember? What was your your biggest memory in in the time with Purim Roses? My like? my biggest memory was the time when Purim Roses won. Five first prizes in the competition. What year was that? Man, I must lie to tell you the date. But we unfortunately we were disqualified with the Netherlands lead. Okay. Because the guy with the gummy, he wasn't here. He was just rattling with the gummy and they oh. saw it on, on the uh, on the the photos and things oh. like that. So they disqualified us. So I didn't mean gummy was in the problem. Yeah, but he wasn't he, He's he was guy, playing with... Yeah, he, doesn't, uh, he wasn't even thinking of it. Mm. And today, you can use the gummy. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, so that's, that's a fond memory. Yes, yes, yes. And, and you will always remember it. Always. Well, I, well, I will start with remembering the, the... When I came to the board meeting, knowing nothing, the chairman was there, the, Mr. Scruder. He was the chairman at that time. And things was... Different for me, I, I couldn't understand. Ah, the one. protocol yeah, and Amalai no, formalities. No, no. But eventually I, I learned and and um, we had a few of the guys that were the team became presidents and things like that. Uh -huh. Of the board choir, like Sihads. Yes, yes, yes. Grandfather, he was also, also the president, president of the board yes. choir. And so it went on, so I started to enjoy the thing. But for me, the most enjoyable thing is the combined chorus. Mm. Because when I, I wasn't part of the choir, and the primers used to sing at the Kismet and things like that, and I fell in love with listening to the combined, so the combined chorus. chorus. I can still remember the Sterenach. Oh. They were singing it, and I enjoyed myself so much. And wherever they went, I used to go oh. and listen to them. And then I became part of it, mm. of, of, of being what being it. Yes. I think, I think, like, I, I can agree with you there where the combine is concerned, but I think what makes you fall in love with the combine is the meaning behind it. Like, if there's a proper story and you're explaining it with expression yes. in your singing, I think that is what makes me fall in love with the combine. Yes. So um, when we when we speak about about the future now, we speak yes, about currently. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what is it that you that you think you can expect from the board this this from the Cape Milan Choir board towards uh, the teams this year? Yes, I I, 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 I I want to say that the board should be more transparent. That um, whatever they do, it must be known and and things like that. And going forward, we'll develop a better understanding of what the board needs and what the choirs need. Mm. But as long as it close knit to things, and I can remember a lot of things, but it's not no use doing it now. Oh. That, that is done and dusted. Okay. And I, 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 I would ask you now, what do you think the youth development is going to enhance by doing, part, being part of the board? Okay, so... Can I just get in there? So with the youth development, we basically there to support the board in every aspect where we can yeah, for, yes. for now, all right? So it's also a, a, a procedure for us to learn, like the Buddha was speaking about protocol in yes. board meetings, in, in those type of things, for us to learn how to carry ourselves so that if we go into the future, the next couple of years, and there is a new uh, set of executives put forward, then there is potential within our youth yes. that can carry the sport forward. Yes. That, is, yes. that, no, is, no. that is our take on it. Take on it, yes. No, no, I, I, I must say that it is a, a great outlook in, in what can happen. And from myself, I was still young when I started joining the club. Mm. And as time went on, you realize what is required of... Mm. of of being part of a, a club mm. and not only part of the club but a part of the big organization, big organization like the Cape Malay yes. Choir Board. Oh. You, you realize the, the big thing that it mm. is. 
I think, I think the, the biggest aspect is the legacy. Like the legacy of our sport and our culture. If we don't try to keep it up at a young age yes. and we equip ourselves with the knowledge of it, then in the next couple of years it might die out. So we are trying to, 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 to save that in a way that let's, let's spark some interest in the youngsters to become a part of this so that our culture can always be alive. So that is, that is one of the things that it's the legacy. The legacy is important and continuing that legacy for generations to come. I must agree with you that seeing how few clubs we've got at the moment, it is exactly what you are saying, that we didn't prepare ourselves for days to come. Yes. We didn't, even in, 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 in the club of Romeroses, mm. we didn't prepare ourselves for things that's going to happen like now at the moment. Mm. We didn't. Okay, so getting back to, 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 to Primrose's now. Um, when we speak about, we, we didn't get the proper answer about the badge. Oh, the, How did the, the badge come about? The, this badge, I, I wasn't part of it. Okay. I wasn't part of it, but I love it. Mm. I, I will tell you, it, it is something that the youth of Primrose's did. And I must start at the, at the beginning when we were down and out for 14 years. We couldn't do anything. Our club shrank, and 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 we couldn't just do any. We had a good coach at the time, Mr. Megatraham. Mm. He was our coach. He was good at the time, but we couldn't. It like we said now, we didn't prepare ourselves for for that. Yes, we didn't work onto something that will be more practical for us when the time comes. Mm. So we lost out there until two guys came to our club. And mm. To our club? Yes. And they came on board and brought everybody that came with them. They put everything in one basket. They all worked together. And the people that I'm talking about is, is Rida Wan Khalan and, and uh, Atas. They were the people. And, but the thing is, is the Pro Roses is a generation team. You can see we're mm. now third generation now. Mm. All the guys that is there now, their fathers and things were mm. all part mm. of the choir. The families were all part mm. of the choir. And, and that's why I say we are a generation team. We've got now Isaacs, the Isaac mm. brothers that mm. is there. Mm. And yes. Rosen that is there. Their, their father also sang for the Primroses. Mm. So it's something that should happen in, in, in our daily life mm. too. To, to have progress. Mm. To have definitely, progress. definitely, because like like I said, we, we need to sustain for the future. So, and it's a it's an issue that has been in the coming on a long time. Like a lot of teams, they require youth to take to take part in the sport so that it is for next for next year yeah, for the yes, year yes. after. So we try to attract youth in every way we can to the sport and to the culture. So. When we get back to, 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 to Purim Roses, I remember that year specifically. Um, I think it was 2018 when Purim Roses made a comeback. And they, they, yes. I remember they had a waistcoat with the colors of the Buka yes, houses. Yes, yes. Yeah, that was a, that was a brilliant year. I yes. think they came to stage with like over 60, almost yes, 70 yes, guys. Yes. That I year. wasn't with the team at that time. Yeah, I was in the audience. That was a shocker. Yes. That yes. I, we just, oh, well, that was a shocker. Yes, yes. But, um, Back to the, 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 the questions mm -hmm. now. Um, you, you said what you expect more or less from the board. Yeah. So what is there anything that we can expect from Purim Roses in the competition this, this year in November? Do the Buddha maybe know like what is it that they have up their sleeve? Man, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I haven't been around to the choir for some time now. I haven't. All I hear is what I see on the chat. Mm. But... From what I can hear, they are quite busy doing something. Okay. They were quite, like, uh, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, he, he uh. said to me, he will, he will give me all the information, like today, mm. about how the choir is progressing mm. and mm. things mm. like that. Unfortunately, with the Janaza, I mm. we, we can the understand. Inshallah. But, um, yeah. But there is a lot of things that's happening. Happening. And, yes, yes. Okay. So it's, a, it's, it's, I think Purim is in the third section. 
Law section, yeah. rangers, primroses, villages, marines. Marines. Yeah. It's quite a tough section, no? Quite. Quite a tough, tough section. section. But yeah. let's see. I, I think primroses might have something up their sleeve for those teams. Because at worst, they, they disappointed some of those teams already in the competition before. Who got that year with the Cup with the, yes, with the, with the, houses. But if, if you look at that video of how they sang that Yes, combined, that combined, I think it was about the book up. Yeah. The way they sang the combined. The reaction that they got, the determination mm. that they mm. had. Mm. You could see it from... From where I was sitting. Yes, you could correct, see it. correct, yes, correct. You could see that. Mm. And the atmosphere in the hall was so Yeah, they all it so They all it so Because nobody expected what was going to happen yes. tonight on yes. the competition. Yes, yes, yes. But like I said, Ziad and, 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 and Rida Wan, they put all the guys, they put everything into one basket. Mm. They were terrific that night. Unfortunately for the comic and for the solo, mm. the comic uh, went out of tune mm. Mm. and the guy with the solo wasn't up to scratch. Okay, so Purim Roses is coming with a, something up the sleeve this season. Very excited to see what we you can expect from them. Anis. Anis? Uh, yeah. Anis is a quiet person, he doesn't want to speak about yeah. his team, which I respect, <laughs> he's playing his close hand, yeah, close yeah. hand. But he's here, he's here all the time. Yeah, um, so Primrose is coming with something up their sleeve, they they cooking something very interesting there. Oh, we, no. we, we, we met with Putabdullah, one of the longest uh, members of, of, oldest members of the choir. Yes. And and I have to agree with Putabdullah when we speak about the, the generation in Primrose. Um, I think my grandfather and his brother were also members of Purim Roses. And who was that? Right? Um, that was Buta Hanif Benjamin and um, his brother Ahmad Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah, they were, they were part of Purim Roses, I remember at the time. But anyway, guys, um, that is another episode with the podcast, with our Kufia Chronicles, um, with Buta Abdullah Shukran once again for letting us come into it's your home. Welcome. Right? Um, for all that information, I really took in a lot there, and I, 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 I have to say it actually touched my heart some of the stuff there because now I'm thinking of, of the generations that came. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and on TikTok as well, and we will be back with the next episode soon. Yeah.